Hi, my name is Sharoz Ahmed and in this video I'm going to do some practice questions related to the integration. We are covering the questions from the Sabbath Mathematics. So let's head on towards the first question. Alright, so here is the first question. We have to integrate this function. Integration is basically it is the opposite of differentiation. <coughs> um, or let's suppose I'll explain you a bit. So let's suppose we have a graph. This is a curved graph and we want to find out the area under this curved graph like this so in order to find out this area we have to integrate the function of this graph all right so the area will be equal to the integration of f of x with respect to dx with respect to x so in this way we can work out the area under the graph by using the integration so this is the brief concept uh, of integration. Now let's move on to the question. All right, in the first question, we have to integrate this function. So, in order to integrate it, let me just write it down. Integration of 3n cube minus 4n square minus 2n with respect to n. So we will just we can separate it. So it'll be like 3n cube dn minus integration of 4n square dn minus integration of 2n dn so now I'll, I'm going to integrate it in order to integrate it I can write it like this 3 this 3 as it is n to the power of 3 plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 1 okay minus this 4 as it is n to the power of 2 plus 1 this 2 whole divided by 2 plus 1 minus this 2 as it is n to the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus a constant we always add the constant while uh, doing the integration because Let's suppose we when once we take the derivative, we do not the derivative of the constant is zero. So we do not know which constant was here before. So we just put plus c. Now I'll just simplify it and I'll get the answer. It's quite simple. So it's 3n to the power of 4 over 4 minus 4n cube over 3 minus 2n square over 2. This 2 2 will get cancelled, so I'll only have n square plus the constant so this will be the answer for that integration okay now let's move on to something different um, I'm gonna do question number three so in question number three we have been given that we have to integrate it by using substitution so integration of 3x square root 5x square minus 1 dx so in such type of questions the only step that is important is to know which function do we have to substitute so in this case we have to substitute 5x square minus 1 equals to u so we will say that let u is equal to 5x square minus 1 because we cannot do it simply if we if we try to do it in uh, from the simple formula it will get so much complex so we will in, we will substitute some function some variable into this function and it will become easier so once we integrate it then we'll put it back so i'll say that let u equals to 5x square minus 1 and also i have to write this dx in terms of du so i'll integrate this function uh, sorry i'll def uh, i'll take its derivative so it'll be like du by dx equals to 10x and uh, my dx will become equal to du over 10x so in place of dx i will put du over 10x in place of 5x square minus 1 i'll just put u so this is the substitution that we have to do in our function so let's do it over here it's 3x under root u in place of dx i will put du over 10x this x x will get cancelled and uh, I will get 3 over 10 u 
to the power of 1 over 2 because square root means uh, th that the exponent is 1 over 2 du. So I can write it outside the integral sign 3 over 10. So integration of u to the power of 1 over 2 du. So it'll become 3 over 10 times u to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 all divided by 1 over 2 plus 1. 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. So I will get 3 over 10 times u to the power of 3 by 2 all divided by 3 by 2. So this 3, 3 will get cancelled and this 2 will come into the numerator. It will become 5u over, it will become 2u over 10. And the final answer is u over 5 plus a constant. So we have to write the constant at each step. So u over 5 plus constant will be my answer, but we have to answer in terms of x. So my u was 5x squared minus 1. So now I'll substitute uh, the value of u back into the expression. So I'll write it here that the answer will be equal to 5x squared minus 1 all divided by 5 plus the constant. So this will be my final answer. All right, now let's do a definite integral. So you see these two numbers, negative 5 and 3. If you see such numbers in any integral, that will be the definite integral. And we will not write the constant with the definite integrals. So let's see how we can do the working. So I'll just simply integrate negative 2 with respect to x. So it'll be like negative 2 x. So when whenever there is constant, let's suppose we have to integrate the constant with respect to x. It will become cx plus a constant. Okay. But over here, we do not need to write this constant because it's a definite integral. What we have to write it over here is the limit. This definite integral has a limit from negative 5 to plus 3. So I'll put negative 5 over here, plus 3 over here. Now, initially, I'll substitute 3 into this function. So it will become like this, negative 2 times 3. Then I'll put a negative sign, and I'll put the other number into the function. So it'll be like negative 2 times negative 5. So I will get negative 6, negative 10. So the final answer will become equal to negative 16. In the definite integrals, we get the numbers. We get the answer in numbers. And we do not need to write down the constant because we know uh, from where to where we have to calculate the area under the curve. But in the indefinite integrals like these, we do not know from where to where we have to calculate the area under the curve. So that's the difference between the definite integrals and the uh, indefinite integrals. Now, after this one, let's move on to uh, an application-based question. All right, so here we have question number seven. In question number seven, it says, find the area of the bounded region by the graph of y equals to x squared minus seven x plus 10 from the x-axis where x equals to the x-axis and x equals to one. So this function will look like this. It's a quadratic function, so it will be something like this. One will be over here, and we have to know this point, and we have to work out this area under the graph, this one. All right, so let's find out uh, the stationary point, these point, uh, the, the points, the, uh, sorry, the, the x-intercepts of this graph. So the x-intercepts of this graph, in order to find out the x-intercept of this graph, you have to put y equals to zero. So I'll put y equals to zero, and it will become x squared minus seven x plus 10. So I can factorize it. So the factors would be negative five and negative two, so it'll be like, x minus 2 times x minus 5 equals to 0. So I'll get x equals to 2 and x equals to 5. So the value over here will be 2 and the value over here will be 5. So I have to integrate this function from the from 1 to this value. So it will become integration from 1 to 2 of this function. That will be x squared minus 7x plus 10 with respect to dx. So the integration of x squared will be x cubed over 3 from 1 to 2 plus the integration of 7x. It will be like 
minus 7x to the power of 2 over 2 and the limit will be from 1 to 2 plus the integration of 10 will be 10x from 1 to 2 so I'll just put the limits now and I'll get the answer so from here I'll put 2 and then 1 so it'll be like 2 cube over 3 minus 1 cube over 3 minus sign then I'll put 2 over here so it'll be like 7 times 2 square over 2 minus 7 times 1 square over 2 plus now I'll put over here so it'll be like 10 times 2 minus 1 10 times 2 minus 10 times 1 so I'll just solve it so it will become 8 over 3 minus 1 over 3 minus 28 over 2 minus 7 over 2 plus 20 minus 10 that will be equal to 10 so 8 minus 1 is 7 so it will be like 7 over 3 28 minus 7 is 21 so it will be like uh, 21 over 2 plus 10 so I'll just add them by the calculator and then I'll get the answer uh, so the answer is 11 over 6 so 11 over 6 is the area under the curve from the x-axis and x equals to 1 so this is the answer alright so this is it for this section of integration I hope you like the video. Thank you so much.